Okay, so I have an announcement, something I've been working to make happen for a few months now and it's finally ready. So, I'm launching the Don't Be a Mitch Fund, aimed specifically at making sure that Mitch McConnell never again becomes Senate Majority Leader. I've compiled eight amazing organizations from the eight states with the closest Senate races in 2022. These organizations basically recreate the strategy that Stacey Abrams used to flip Georgia. They focus on voter registration and voter outreach, with a special focus on people of color and young people. What we can't do is just throw millions upon millions of dollars at super PACs five minutes before an election cycle. That money is going to television stations and consumers. Consultants. We need to be investing now and we need to be focusing on the people. That's what these organizations do. So the states I'm focusing on are Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, North Carolina, Georgia, Arizona, Ohio, Iowa, and Florida. The organizations I'm working with are the New Georgia Project Action Fund, Pennsylvania Stands Up, Black Leaders Organizing Communities or BLOC in Wisconsin, Advanced Carolina, Florida Rising, Ohio Organizing Campaign, Iowa Citizens for Community Improvement Action Fund, and Living United for Change in Arizona or Lucha. Your money will go to phone banking and text banking, door knocking, voter registrations, and getting commitments to vote. It's reaching people where they are, within their communities, and getting them engaged and educated and registered. And by the way, while I'm focusing on the states with competitive Senate races in 2022, this will help both the Senate and the House in those states. Because again, this isn't about promoting any specific candidates, it's about getting the people who are most commonly disenfranchised involved. People who have to overcome barriers specifically erected to ensure that they can't participate. It takes time and money to fix that, so that's where I'm asking for your help. I'll put a link directly to the Act Blue in the post description of this video and every other video I do moving forward. You can also go to my website, BrianTylerCohen.com, click on Don't Be a Mitch, and you can get to the Act Blue from there. I should note too that because it's done through Act Blue, I don't see a dime of this money. It goes directly to the organizations. I'm also finally selling merch on my website. Just go to BrianTylerCohen.com and click on Merch, where you can find t-shirts, hoodies, phone cases, bags, and masks with a bunch of different designs, including Don't Be a Mitch, Whiny Little Mitch, Buy Mitch, and Mitch Please. The profits on all Mitch-related merchandise for sale on my site will also be donated to this fund. Now, my ultimate goal is to raise $100,000 per organization, but if it's looking like we're raising money quickly, then I'll add more states. I have some amazing organizations in mind in other states, but we have to get there first. The fact is that we've seen what the Republican Party is capable of, and I'm not talking about policy, I'm not talking about their position on tax, taxes, or limited government versus big government, I'm talking about a party whose only position right now is accumulating power by any means necessary. I'm talking about a party that if they win in 2022, will break our democracy, will rig it to their own benefit. Like, we don't even have the luxury right now of talking about policy because the foundation of this country is under attack. And so we need to make sure to activate the people in these states who don't vote or who might not be paying attention because a lot is at stake. If you're seeing what's happening right now, we're teetering on the brink of autocracy. We can't wait for the next elected official or candidate to fix it. We have to do it and it needs to be done now. I really hope and believe that this fund will help. And by the way, the reason for this fund is not only Republicans. We still have Democrats in the Senate who are opposed to filibuster reform, which is the only thing standing in the way of desperately needed legislation like HR1, the For the People Act. And so if you don't want our entire legislative agenda, the entire future of our party, to be dictated by one or two conservative Democrats, then help elect more progressives who understand the urgent reforms that we need to make. So look, if you know me, you know that I never ask for money. But if you can, please consider donating to this fund because it's so important that this work begin now if we want any hope of enacting our agenda, whether on climate change or healthcare or raising the minimum wage or shoring up democracy itself. It'll make a difference and I promise you it's a good feeling knowing that you've helped.